hello 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 how are you all doing so in the last video we have finished our backpack in marvelous designer in this video let's export this uh, this backpack and import it in zbrush start detailing there so how to export select all your pattern what i have did i have just kept the pattern particle distance to 5 hit space once so i simulated it and then what to do go to file export export selected before doing that if you wanted to go in quadrangulated way you have to just right click and select quadrangulate it will take a time but uh, take some time and then it will keep the UV center everything so why you have to do that because if it's uh, triangulated and you can do Z measure there if you want to have it sculpted better uh, have it uh, behave better uh, like a proper mesh and you can sculpt freely in this it's if you can see it has some of the star points something like that so it behaves weirdly uh, but if you go a little too high for me it doesn't matter it's fine it's a clue so it have to be in perfect no worries but instead if you take it as a you know in a triangulated way and uh, Z image there you will lose your movies which I don't want even in any, in any asset even if you don't have to apply any uh, any pattern or something in high poly any uh, height map but uh, if you want to then you have to take it this way if you don't have want to then you can see the image do whatever you want so OB is selected back base I've already exported it so let's import in ZBrush whenever you open ZBrush you will see something like this uh, the project tab is open from the light box all you have to do is select your uh, polysphere why not double click on any of the project it will bring your I have pressed tab so it will bring everything your document with the full screen and everything you can turn on and off floor to import the object on the right height select import while selecting star first select star then import your object if you are working on any project you have worked on anything or if you have worked with someone or if you are working in a company then you must have seen the guy who have worked earlier than you some of the files are uh, the objects in the files are very small or very huge because they haven't imported them right so they scale it afterwards which is not right to make sure that your objects are always of the right size import on the start that stuff that's a trick that's a million dollar trick that i'm letting you know so just import on that star and whenever you save you will be fine by importing exporting just import your object initially on the star so if you press shift f which is the wireframe mode polyframe it's this button so you see that it's in one polygroup what we want to do is have it different polygroup so that it's easier to sculpt to isolate objects uh, or path of object so also it's in one object i would like to have at least a two huh? one leather part and one uh, fabric part to do that let's come to the polygroup it's the button here as well autograph with uvs that i have kept it's the same button in polygroup I have to just press that and we have got all our island according to the UVs which is our pattern uh, polygroup so now all I have to do is press ctrl shift and click on any of them to isolate that and then ctrl shift drag to isolate the rest of the part and hide that now all we have to do is hold down ctrl shift and keep tapping the object which you don't want to be visible in this one and i don't want my leather stuff to be visible here so that when you invert uh, invert the hidden thing so ctrl shift and drag on the outside it will invert everything this to be one object and this to be one object ctrl shift that's what i'm doing Ctrl shift dragging so this we can just make it hidden and come here in split and split hidden split it and we'll make this as a separate 
subgroup uh sub tool sorry mm-hmm. in this one the shift f polyphenol and now you can simply duplicate to whatever you want but one thing if you duplicate now it happen it uh, have since we uh it brought it welded it is welded so you can't seem to find where seams will go to make that uh to make the seams appear automatically all you have to do is give him some thickness like all poly group will have their thickness so to do that you go to your geometry in edge loop there is this panel loop option select whatever the amount of uh, edges you want in the loops you want in your thickness i would like to have three and uh, select whatever thickness polish and one is polished and one bevel i want elevation to be in negative 100 so that it goes inside not outside so panel loop now it's all looped as you can see the borders are a little bit dark right? and when you press control d you got all your seams nice and crisp like it right i know so now our panel loop is done but there is no way to tell if it's the right width so you just have to control shift click on this and control shift a to uh to make all the part which is selected to that poly group on height and that way you can see okay i can work with that uh, width of a piece of clothes such as this which is a backpack so you might sometime find and hello i'm from future doing voice over because if i have gone through the usual way it would have been a very long long video so here i'm just trying to uh, fix some of the faces some of the shapes and some intersections which are going through here and there nothing much since it's uh, not very complex to create forward asset so yeah trying to smooth some folds trying to fix some folds here and there and trying to explain the details what are going to be and what you don't want so for folds for any objects make sure you have a balance uh from marvelous as well as in zebrish even if you want more folds do not go overboard in zebrish because uh, marvelous gives you a very good result in very in terms of uh, natural folds so here i'm just adding few here and there and removing few as well because you don't want a uh, noisy surface sometimes a lot of folds makes it noisy and it's not pleasing to the eyes so you have to make sure just keep it simple subtle and looks good and i am struggling to find some physical stitches brushes which are imm and um, i couldn't find it so i downloaded it from bad king you can do that uh, because all of the brushes available in zebrush right now are uh, gives Uh, surface details they doesn't provide an external mesh to the stitches which i wanted because i can that we uh, be the id map and put the color there for the stitches or there is separate route if you want to do that uh, you can put directly in painter your stitches so you can do stitches in painter as well so here i got my stitches brush and i'm trying to put all the stitches on over the seam excuse me and uh, yeah uh, these are the little details that uh, will make your asset look believable and realistic once you bring from marvelous you will find that it's not looking that impressive just because these are the details that were missing some of the stitch is some of the um, Uh, zippers uh, tags etc and metal pieces if they are there for this piece i haven't put it yet i won't be putting it on this video but yeah 
try to add as much details as you can but uh, don't go overboard for an asset like this it have things inside so that means the asset is used uh, the backpack is being used it's in a worn and torn stage so that we can do some of the detailing uh, in painter as well to make some room for that as well and uh, i will show you in this video how to do that detail map in zerosh so that you have a uh, nice details all over your surface so this i want this to be leather and that will be fabric obviously so right now i'm just doing the stitches part and it will take some time i know you have to be patient and if it goes here and there a little bit not in a straight line that's fine you can always fix it by brush or you can just leave it because it's an organic surface and imperfections are good And here we are trying to fix the stitches which are inside the mesh because sometimes if the mesh is too curvy or it have a lot of peaks and valleys that is bound to happen that your stitches might go inside the mesh and you have to pull them out. So you double twist, uh, double check your mesh, mesh, what the mesh, and. Uh, yeah, it'll be good to go. I'll just go ahead and fix all these stitches. Then I'll do the zippers. It was a fun asset to make. Please try it. Uh, if you face any issues, any problems, you can comment down. I will try to sort it out. And uh, subscribe. The main thing, please subscribe. Because uh, you might miss some of the very exciting videos which are coming up. Next, I will be making few characters. So stay tuned for that. Please subscribe. Like it. Uh, it will help me uh, reach this video to more people. And you can share it as well with your friends who want to learn uh, assets like this or create characters for games. Yes, and give me some more of the suggestions in comments. What should I make next? What do you want me to see, create, or what do you want to learn? I'll, I'll try to do that. And here we are trying to detail more of the straps, uh, the bottom side, because uh, I I saw that it will look interesting if I do that I tried it on one strap and it was looking good so I did all of it and here I'm trying to do the same We got the metal zippers in and I will do the same for the front pocket as well. I will add one zipper there. Here we go. So as I said, when you use the curved brushes, if the surface are curved or not in straight line, then you might have to do some post tweaking after dragging your curve because it goes inside or comes outside too much so fix that and then you're good to go we are close to the ending and i think you got something you picked up a few tricks and see you in the next video till then take care bye bye and enjoy the process.
there we go here we have our detail map I am just trying to figure out which works best for what and through noise you can just simply plug in and set it on UV if you are coming from Marvelous Designer you must have the patterns and those works as UVs so no worries there it will uh, take a dialable texture and give you a perfect result and that you can bake it in painter also i am applying few of the memory folds to make it more natural make it more used uh, looks believable as well which is good which is important if you want you can go ahead and create more of the wear and tear but that will come in painter so i will see you in the next part of this video please subscribe because you don't want to miss that and enjoy the finished piece